if you are in class 9th or class 10, NEET seems like a very far away journey which you might not be bothered right now. But let me tell you, alongside your board exam or your unit test preparation, a lot of kids are actually really studying for NEET but at least laying the foundation level. Now, this topic often becomes controversial because students think that, you know, we are promoting NEET coaching for four years. But please don't get me wrong. I'm not asking you to prepare for NEET exactly. I'm asking you to build your fundamentals beyond the school level. Because at the school level, what you are exactly doing is rote learning, memorization and you are skipping the application, the lateral thinking, the MCQ practice, etc. Now, is that needed really? The answer is yes, not just from an exam point of view, but as a life skill. Whether you go for arts, whether you go for commerce, whether you go for science and then do merchant navy or just probably go uh, into some random other field, the basic thinking skills, problem solving skills, the fundamentals should be very, very clear because that helps you boost up your career, your thinking and everything that you're going to do in life. That's why I'm going to tell you how, you know, the topics of need were once a class 9th or a class 10th student, but they had a vision and they stood by it. They did not listen to others and how they were able to comfortably achieve that score. Let me also give you some examples of, you know, how the top All India Rank 100 students had that early advantage of starting, you know, maybe 9th or 10th grade. They were not really preparing for need because that is an often misunderstood concept. Yes, there are certain institutes which prepare exclusively for need. We are not talking about that. We are talking about, you know, laying the foundation part. So, a lot of, uh, you know, people have that myth that every neat aspirant is at the same page. That is absolutely wrong. The competition is completely unfair. The start and the finish lines itself are different for every neat aspirant. One person is taking a drop. One person has taken five drops. One person has some NRI quota. One person has some other category benefit. Other person has started preparing from 9th standard. Other person is just preparing through crash course. Other person has stayed board. So it's all different. So the competition is completely unfair. So it is a myth which is fed into your head. Ki, yes, the competition is all fair and nice. Right. So if you talk about the competition, how is it? Well, 20 lakh plus students are appearing every single year day by day the competition is increasing although the competition for you is not really 20 25 lakh 30 lakh is the top 2 to 3 lakh students who genuinely prepare for the neat examination the number of seats in aims the top aims are less than 1000 right if you combine afmc jipmer and all of that still close to 1000 to 3000 seats not more than that right and if you want all india rank 1 two, three, like that, a single digit one, the chances are basically like 0.001% and stuff like it, okay? If you want a government seat, GMCs, well, the probability is slightly higher. The top 50, 60,000 rank will give you a seat in the open category. But if you have a state category or some other benefit, then the ranks can go slightly higher. All right. So having said that, okay, sir, the competition is very immense. The competition is crazy. So what exactly should we do? Don't worry. I'm here to help you. I have been training, teaching kids for a very long time. Okay. And sent the kids to not just any private college, but AIMS, AFMC, Jibmer. You will find my students out there. And I'm extremely happy that I have mentored them, guided them throughout their journey. And I'll continue doing so just like you. And I'm very happy that with you, I will get more years to train and coach you. So make sure you are liking this video and subscribing to this particular channel right away right now done it okay let me start with some examples vedant wow the name also is so synonymous to vedantu right yeah he was our student from 10th standard 3 years program 
and uh, he won the gold medal in olympiads olympiads is like the olympics but in education and not just that look at his journey in the covid era he cleared nscgs it's a junior science olympiad then he cleared injso then again in 2021 nscgs and uh, injso in 2022 boards he got 99.2 percent biology olympiad he got selected in 2023 physics olympiad also he got selected same year astronomy olympiad also he got selected that year then in 2024 again he got selected for uh, the biology olympiad and then he won the gold medal for the country so the journey is not so easy but at the same time it's so rewarding because you have started from the beginning you have a head start you are understanding grasping things at that very fresh age where your mind is open not polluted and you are interest in the subject develops which pushes you to learn more not because somebody is asking you to learn but because of the love for the subject and by the way vedant also got a very good all india rank in the neet examination this year and made us proud and also got 99.99 percentile in physics which was the toughest paper in the neat history then talking about dhruv also our old student been with us for a long time won gold medal in the physics olympiad and he also made us proud by winning silver in different that silver medal in different olympiads and also is a topper in his category and the story continues with many such more students guys there are numerous examples i can go on and on i just wanted to give a couple of them first of all realize that whenever you start early starting early means not completing the syllabus on time that is just one benefit but you are also building a very strong base of science whether it is chemistry biology physics mathematics whatever subjects you also get more time to go into the depth rather than doing one shots completing a chapter in 20 minutes all these kind of things people search if you see neat videos right like entire chapter in 30 minutes how is it possible okay you can revise but you can't do it you can't master it so you need to go in detail another thing is you get more time for multiple revisions even a movie you will forget after few weeks unless you are rewatching it you are discussing it with your friends you get a meme or a joke on it and that's how that revision happens some movies which you have watched 10 years ago also you might remember but a movie last year you would have forgotten because you have not revised right so same thing applies to studies too and that stress is the most uh, i mean difficult thing to handle because that can kill even those topics or things which you actually know you might just blank out zone out in the exam because of that stress so when you have studied so many times revised so many times it's a very easy going thing for you the actual exam doesn't feel like a very very big thing you won't feel nervous that's one big advantage of starting early also what happens is when you are starting early you are completing not just the revisions multiple times but you are also solving a huge question bank and when you solve multiple pyqs that question bank your mind starts thinking in different ways not just in one or two directions that is very important for spontaneously solving the problems in the examination hall is that right and once you have that advanced level of practice you are not only super duper confident you are relaxed plus you can now tackle multiple other exams is not just neat whether it is je cuet alternative exams this career that career you can open up so many doors for you because you have practiced so much that now any exam just feels like a gateway it is no longer you know or the only option for you another thing is see like i was telling it opens multiple avenues many students usually give olympiad exams they attend hackathons science fairs they take part in different competitions plus it gives time for your extra curricular activities maybe it is your fitness your hobbies maybe you are good at music maybe you are good at sports otherwise what happens you see that neat students who are joining it at the end 
they suddenly lose their health because they're only studying sleeping, studying, sleeping, studying, sleeping. That's all. So when you are taking it slow and steady, you can have your hobby. You will love it. You will not curse your studies that, oh, because of my studies, I left my, uh, you know, music practice or sports or whatever. You can watch your IPL matches also. Nobody is stopping you because, you know, you will have that time. Imagine, it's wonderful, isn't it? So, a lot of syllabus also overlaps with these exams like the Olympiads and all of that. And once you clear Olympiad, it's not just a matter of pride because you're obviously representing India at an international level. Even reaching the national camp is a very big thing, by the way. So, even if you go there, you'll get a certificate and that is very useful in your further studies, also in your career. If you say that you're an Olympiad scholar, it's like you get a lot of respect, bro. Yeah. So, you get that confidence in general and that confidence is sometimes good enough to push you much ahead. So, you know, you will not just crack the Olympiads, but also crack the NEET exam and any other competitive exam. I've seen so many NEET students giving the J exam. They skip the maths part. With just physics and chemistry, they have got 99 percentile. Just imagine a NEET student writing J means only two subjects getting 99 percentile. This is all possible, guys. So, your chance of getting in the top 100 increases multiple times. If you ask most of the top 100 students, you will see they were from a two-year program or at least prepared for three years or four years after taking a drop. So why do you want to take a drop and prepare that extra one year rather start in 9th and 10th without taking a drop and clear it in the first go? Just imagine that pride you will carry. I'm a neat student. I'm in AIMS. I didn't take a drop. That's like a crazy credential to talk about. Anybody would be super duper impressed. Without taking a drop, you crack neat. Right? So, all in the rank 10, it's not just luck. A lot of people say, oh, the questions might have been something which he has seen. No, it's not luck. It's just you have seen so many questions that nothing seems unseen. Right? So, it's a very smart decision when you start early. You're increasing your probabilities many times. Chances, statistics, everything says that chances of getting all in the rank 10 increases many times when you start early. So, if you're sure, please start. And by the way, there is one test which will check where you stand. If you're in 9th or 10th, you want to see where you stand at the national level, give the MV sign. It's absolutely free to register. It's happening on 4th, 5th, 11th and 12th of October. It will not only tell you a detailed analysis, whether you are a visual learner, whether you're auditory learner or, you know, uh, what kind of... Uh, things are your strengths or weaknesses and you know what is your accuracy level what is your all in the rank state rank everything a detailed report card plus there are scholarships if you want to take admission in any of our centers or even the pro batches also scholarships are there up from a pool of 150 crores so that's huge and two crores worth of gift hampers prizes cash benefits cash prizes so many things are there so a lot of things for you to win plus free study material lectures and seminars are also a part the moment you start registering for it okay so register for the mvsat exam the link is there in the description box inside the video whichever you are watching so just go to the link and in the description box and you will get it right mvsat register for it i hope you loved this video you enjoyed the information i have given and if you're a senior who is watching it please share it with your junior right away right now okay and tell them bro I made a mistake. You don't do a mistake like this. Okay. So motivate others, motivate your juniors, share this video, like this video and comment below. What was your experience? Maybe as a pressure dropper, whatever it is. Okay. Thank you so much. This is Captain Shriya signing off.